Hey guys, um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update real quick. Um, I believe my last update was on Monday. And I think I said in my video that on Monday I was starting to get a little bloated and felt some pressure and that my appointment went well, that I had 17 follicles, I believe I said, and my estrogen level was 231. Um, Tuesday night, before I went back for my appointment on Wednesday, um, was really rough. Like, I got so bloated. Like, it was so uncomfortable, and I couldn't sleep. Um, I got an hour and a half of sleep, and, like, the pressure was just, oh my goodness, awful. <laughs> um, so, my appointment on Wednesday, sorry, I'm looking down at my notes. Um, I had 22 follicles ranging anywhere from 9 to 14 at the time. Um, my estrogen level came back at 750 that day. So it went from 231 to 750 in two days. And I kept the same dosage, which would be in the morning I take or took. Um, 10 units of Lupron also with 10 units of micro HCG. And then in the afternoon I took um, gonna laugh at 150. Let's see. Thursday, um, I had no bloating and no pressure, and it really freaked me out. So I was very nervous um, of how my appointment was going to go on Friday since I wasn't feeling anything. Um, so on Friday, I had more follicles than the 22. Was it 22? Yeah, 22 that we had seen on Wednesday. However, we didn't count them, and I, she only counted the ones that were above 15. Um, there were 17 that were above 15, and my estrogen level came back at 2,060. Um, and also, I kept the same dosage again, which would be the 10 and 10 of the Lupron and Micro HCG, and then the 150 of Gonalaf. And I came back, or went back this morning. Um, I went there at 7.30 in the morning. Um, there was 19 that were above a 15. I really honestly can't remember what sizes were. I know the smallest was 15 that we counted. And I think the biggest one was 20, 21. But don't hold me to that because I don't know. Um, my estrogen level came back at over 3,000, so I am triggering tonight. I'm so excited to be done with everything. Um, so yeah, I trigger tonight at 7.45, which is here shortly. And then... That all ends up to be a day earlier than projected. Um... I was originally projected for my egg retrieval to be on Tuesday, but it's going to be Monday morning. I have to be there at 6.15 in the morning, and my surgery is at 6.45. Obviously, the whole shindig, no lotions, um, no makeup, no fingernail polish, no eat or drink after midnight the night before. And um, she estimates that, like, this is solely an estimate, that I'll probably get about 20 um, retrieved. And obviously that doesn't mean that there's going to be an egg in every single one or it's going to be mature enough. And they are doing ICSI, um, just to clarify that again. So that's kind of where we're at. So I trigger here, I think in about an hour and a half. I'm not really sure what time it is. And all together, let's see how many days I was on STEM meds. I started on the 13th of Friday. So I did eight days of stimming. And we projected nine originally. So yeah, eight days of stimming, a trigger tonight, egg retrieval on Sunday, and then that moves up the tentative um, transfer days anywhere from the 26th or the 28th. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. Um, very nervous. Very, very nervous. <laughs> I just want a good number, and I don't want to um, have any complications after the retrieval and have um, OHSS. So if anybody can give me tips and tricks, I already know about the Gatorade and um, the protein. That would be very, very helpful.
Hmm. Oh, and I'm very nervous about the trigger. <laughs> the needle scares me. That is it, guys. Sorry I keep looking down at my notes. Um, I am quite scatterbrained and I can't remember everything today. I've been all over the place. And I'm just really exhausted still from all the medicine. I did take a nap today before I had to go out and run some errands. I've been napping every day, except for like a few days. Um, and I don't think that's going to get better, like I said. Um, as far as my bloating and everything goes, um, off and on. One minute I'm bloating, the next minute I'm fine. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, and as soon as I had the prescription for headaches, I haven't had one since. So that was awesome. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I will give you guys an update when I can. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.